This is exercise 911. It's the Fourier series of a triangle wave, including the first 10 harmonics. What follows is an 18 second preview of the entire video. You will see a plot of the entire signal as each harmonic is included. Focus closely on a peak to see the subtle changes with each additional harmonic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A MATLAB script is running, which will be explained shortly. This is the MATLAB plot of the fundamental harmonic. This is the MATLAB command window that controls plotting. One indicates the first harmonic. Press Enter in the MATLAB command window to plot the sum of the first two harmonics. 2 indicates the second harmonic was added. There was no change, which will be explained shortly. 3 indicates the third harmonic was added. The change was subtle. If you missed it, here it is again several times. Ten harmonics have been included in our final plot. Additional harmonics would have made the peaks sharper. We can use the zoom command followed by a click on the plot to see more detail. For example, the value of x on the vertical axis, negative 0.542, and t on the horizontal axis, 1.23. This is the MATLAB script program that made the plots. Each percent character indicates a comment. The A vector contains the cosine amplitudes for the first 10 harmonics. The B vector contains the sine amplitudes for the first 10 harmonics, which are all zero. The DC component, AO, is zero. The fundamental frequency is pi radians per second time vector and initial x vector are created. A loop adds each harmonic with a pause between each plot. Final plot with labels and grid lines are made here. You can use this script found on the course webpage to solve all your WebCharlie homework exercises 9.11 through 9.15. You could create a folder in the C colon temp directory and then copy the MATLAB script into it. The file name must end in .m, which identifies it as a MATLAB script. You can execute the script by double-clicking on the script. MATLAB should start which will then allow the program to run. For exercise 911, you'll have to change the fundamental frequency to your particular value. For the other exercises, you may have to change one or more of the following. Fundamental frequency, the A vector, the B vector, and the DC component, AO. Edits to the script file can be made with any editor MATLAB also has an editor which can be used. Here's a little more explanation. A periodic function x can be represented by this sine-cosine form. Omega 1 is the fundamental frequency. The second harmonic has a frequency of 2 omega 1. N is the harmonic counter that counts from 1 to infinity. Although in practice a huge number of harmonics is not needed to accurately represent the periodic signal. The amplitudes of the cosine and sine components, AN and BN, typically become smaller for higher order harmonics. Sometimes all the BNs or ANs will be zero, which will be explained later. 
AO is the DC term. The values of AN, BN, and AO are given in Table 11.2 on the course webpage for several common periodic functions.